There's a verdict in the second degree murder trial of Raymond Cormier. Cormier was accused of killing Tina Fontaine, whose body was pulled from the Red River in Winnipeg in 2014. Late this afternoon, the jury found Cormier not guilty. Brittany Hobson has been following the story and she joins us in studio now. Brittany, I understand it was a packed courtroom uh, as the verdict was read out. Uh, what was the reaction inside? Well, it was very emotional. Uh, and you could feel it in the courtroom. Valentina Duck, who's Tina's birth mother, uh, like exited the courtroom as soon as the verdict came down and she began swearing at Cormier and continued swearing down the hallways and, and exited the, the law courts. And we, we do have some visuals of that. Also in court was uh, Thelma Fable, who is Tina's great aunt and primary caregiver, and she's been in court for most of the past three weeks. And uh, she collapsed when the verdict was read and, and broke into tears and also had some choice words to, to say to Cormier, and family and friends surrounded her, and a prayer was said, and a moment of silence was said as well. Or, yeah. After uh, the verdict was read out and everybody cleared out, I understand there were some emotions and some emotions outside as well. Yes, yeah, so uh, many Indigenous leaders in Manitoba gathered outside the steps uh, on the law courts and addressed media uh, and, and talked about the outcome of the verdict and, and what that meant. And uh, Sheila North, uh, MKO Grand Chief, uh, spoke about how the systems essentially failed Tina, and, and we do have some visuals of that as well. The systems, everything that was involved in Tina's life failed her. We've all failed her. We as a nation need to do better for our young people, all of us, Indigenous people, especially for our young people. This is a message to them that, sh that is probably discouraging, saying that it's okay to kill our Indigenous young people. It is not okay. And it might not be this accused person that took her life, but someone took her life. That fact remains, and we must get to the bottom of it. We are continually marginalized. We live in third world conditions. You set us up for failure right from the start and take our children away. And this is one of the perfect examples of our children being taken away and, be, and being taken. And Brittany, there are a number of rallies being planned for tomorrow across the country, one here in Winnipeg. What can you tell us about that one? So it's going to start at 10.30, start from the law courts, and then people are going to walk to the forks, and it's really just to honor Tina's life. Brittany, appreciate you taking the time to uh, explain what happened here today for us. Thank you.